A lockout is an economic weapon available to employers. In a lockout, the employer prohibits employees from coming to work until the employer allows them to return. The NLRA allows lockouts in some circumstances. Lockouts are sometimes referred to as being either defensive or offensive. In a defensive lockout, an employer locks out employees to protect the employer's business or to minimize damages or losses in anticipation of a strike. In an offensive lockout, an employer locks out employees to pressure the union to accept the employer's bargaining proposals. This distinction isn't legally significant, but can sometimes help clarify how lockouts are used. The NLRA allows employers to use lockouts to gain bargaining leverage or to protect the employer's business from strike-related harm. Suppose a union representing a pharmaceutical manufacturer's employees voted to authorize a strike. Upon learning about the strike authorization, the employer locked out the employees. The employer's work was delicate, and the employer feared that an unpredictable work stoppage could compromise product safety and harm the employer's business. There was no suggestion of anti-union motivation. This employer engaged in a lawful defensive lockout intended to protect its operations. This kind of lockout allows the employer to choose the time of a work stoppage and minimize the potential disruption from a strike. The board will uphold a lockout to protect the employer's business if the lockout is a reasonable or legitimate response to an imminent or threatened strike. 